Hey guys, Baby Luther 73 here, and today I'm just going to be reviewing some of my PS2 games that I have. Most of them are awesome, some of them I haven't even tried, or some of them are just plain boring. So let's start off with Rayman 3. It's going to be really hard because I'm holding my phone. But Rayman 3 was an awesome PS2 game, like one of the best, actually the best PlayStation 2 game ever. And let's take a look at the back. I'll just let you guys take a look because I have to hurry up. Um, actually, no, 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 I got time. Uh, Ultimate Powers, Ultimate Enemies, Ultimate Havoc, Rayman's Bust and Loose, Rayman and Prime, Rayman and Prime form with new high tech powers and gear like shock rockets, the lock jaw, funky boards, and other cool stuff. Totally wicked enemies. Charge into intense strategic, strategic battles with crazed hoodlums arm with crazed hoodlum army and massive transforming bosses. A bizarre epic adventure. The <laughs> plunge into enormous eye popping worlds packed with zany comedy and whacked out cast featuring John Leguizamo. I can't say that right, but these are what the pictures look like. And, oh yeah, I don't have the disc with me right now, but. All right, now on to Rayman Arena. Goodness gracious, this game is awesome. Um, race to the finish, battle to the end. Two modes of gameplay offer a variety of, of ways to defeat your opponent and rank supreme. Unleash new characters. Eight playable characters, including the cast of Rayman 2, plus all new characters. Multiplayer Madness. Compete with four players for intense multiplayer action. Immersive Worlds. Develop, develop into 30 immense battle arenas and re race tracks filled with detailed environments. Now these are what the pictures look like. And yeah. Now... Let me see. That's what the disc looks like. And also, look at this back. This back is awesome. Oops. You know what? I'll just fix that later. Anyways. Twin Sanity, you are the bomb. You are... You are probably the best Crash game ever. Dang it. Hang on. Alright. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to read all of this, so I'll just let you guys read it, because I'm kind of in a hurry, because I wanted to make a gameplay of a, of a game, which is coming up next. Um, well, not coming up next, but coming in a little bit, but... All right, so I'll give you some more time later, but here's this Twin Slam, the Humili, yeah, the Humili Skate, Spank, that one's funny, Twin Throw, the Roller Brawl, and the Censored, that one's funny. Four playable characters including Nina Cortex, a bionic goth girl, and incredible bosses would challenge our different heroes. Check out the wicked team moves in this game. And yeah. The disc looks like this, but I can't make it to work for some reason. 
Anyways, on to the next one. This is a CD. I don't actually have um, the case for it because that's how it came back then. This was like in 2012 when I got this game. Um, this game was actually made 2004, but I got this game in 2012 at GameStop where they still sell PS2 games. That was crazy. But this is what it looks like. I can't get it to work because it actually has a crack on it because it was a long time ago. Anyways, Battle for Bikini Bottom. You need an award. This is an awesome game. See, they already got an award. 4.5 out of 5. Pull off crazy maneuvers like tongue boarding and underwater bungee jumping even launch a guided cruise level play as spongebob patrick sandy cheeks and sandy cheeks each play each with their own abilities he's our only hope uh, i can't see um actually yeah encounter your favorite characters from the cartoon including special camo appearances 10 huge 3D, 3D worlds to explore, including special bonus areas and other secret rewards. The evil Plankton has set in motion his diabolical plot, diabolical plot ever. The fate of Bikini Bottom and possibly Mankind, and we all know it has been... In the hands of three unex, unex, unsuspecting heroes, join SpongeBob and his friends in their fearless crusade to end Plankton's evil scheme. And I have the disc in the PlayStation 2 I could show you, but I kind of don't have the time. Because this video can only last 24 minutes, because I don't have any space. Anyways... This game is awesome as well. <sighs> Why is Crash always getting giving us all these things to read? Crash Bandicoot is back to Crush Cortex for good. And I'll show you all the pictures. Anyways. By harnessing the destructive power of the four elements, Dr. Neo Cortex creates Crunch, a super a super bandicoot with one mission, demolish all the lives before him. While Crash and Coco be up to the challenge, you bet you can bet your bandicoot they will. <laughs> this is all the pictures. I'm only on World 2. I mean, I'm only at Warp Room 2, so don't judge me. The biggest adventure ever. 30 new action-filled levels in jam-packed environments. You go, girl. <laughs> For the first time ever, Crash is tough as Crash is tough as Nail's sister. Coco is fully playable. Multiple modes of vehicle mayhem. Control eight different vehicles from crash, from a clash guarded to a giant robot suit. Oh my gosh, that's gonna sound awesome. Positively, most dazzling, most dazzling effects ever seen in a crash game. And yes, I got it from a store. This is what the game looks like, and I have the game somewhere. I know where it is. I'm sorry. All of these games are missing. Um, hopefully, um, Parappa the Rapper 2's disc is actually in here. So, yeah, I'll open that up in a second. <sighs> Jeez, this game is awesome. I have it for the PS4. The original rap star is back in the house. 
Let's see if you have enough rhythm to keep the beat with everyone's favorite rapping puppy. Parappa the Rapper returns with all new levels and songs to keep your head bobbing and PlayStation 2 bumping. <laughs> yeah, these are what pictures look like. That's Parappa. There's a real life background. It's kind of weird. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. Yep, there we go. That's what it looks like. Alright, I got 14 minutes left. Alright. Toy Story 3 is a really awesome game. I just haven't played it in a while, so I can't really get much stuff down. But anyways, unleash your imagination. Story mode. Dive into heroic adventures from the Toy Story 3 movie. That was fast. Exciting mini, mini adventures help Buzz battle Zerg or... Team up with Sheriff Woody to protect his town. That was really fast. I don't know why. Like, I do not know why this was so fast to read. Oh, oops. And this is what the game looks like. The Luxo Ball. And this is the instructional manual. And yeah, that's Toy Story 3. All right, on to your Jack and Daxter. <sighs> Jack and Daxter 2. That was pretty good. I just only got a little bit into the game. I'm not really a fan, but yeah, it's okay, I guess. Something big is about to unfold. In a, in a groundbreaking action-packed adventure from Naughty Dog, Creators of the multi-mini seller Jack and Daxter, the Perseg Legacy. I don't even know what that is. A deep, a deep and involving storyline with fully integrative gameplay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, after two years of prison, Jack's mad and okay. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Powerful weapons. Hang on. This is kind of blurry. Okay. Powerful weapons. A high-tech jet board. And um, impenetrable mech suit vehicles. As at your disposal. Unbrilled freedom. Travel to a future alive with drama, conflict, and surprises. Friendship, betrayed love, and what a minute. revenge. Think you're ready? Think you're ready? Think again. You will finally know, Jack. And this is what the disc looks like. Imagine that with Rayman and Dark Rayman. I actually had, I actually had um, a shirt that kind of looked like that, but it was Rayman and Dark Rayman. But I can't find it. That was such an awesome shirt. This game was okay. Like I used to love this instantly when I was little, but now I don't know. It's just not what I expected years ago. All right. Now let's see. Tap into the adventures, into the adventure and fun. Step into Mumbles' happy feet as you belly sled, dance, and swim through the Art Arctica, the Antarctica. I'm sorry, on an amazing adventure. Oops, <laughs> it almost fell off. Um, I can't see. Okay, race down icy glaciers on your belly. Tap dance with your friends and family with to win glorious heart. This is another rhythm game, kind of similar to Parappa the Rapper. Um, 
Anyways, I can't see because this was a long time ago. That's why it's kind of dirtied up. Um, evade the jaws of hungry leopards, seals, and I don't know what the okra is. I'm sorry. I don't know. Experience a world of unlike a world unlike your own. <laughs> These are the pictures, and yeah. Oh yeah, I don't have the disc with me right now. But yeah, this game is a lot like Parappa the Rapper and Just Dance. But come on, thank you. Now, I never tried to actually play this game that much, but um, I'll still go with it. All right, curses. SpongeBob accidentally releases the Flying Dutchman from a magic bottle. Now the ghost pirate has a wicked curse upon SpongeBob's friends. The only way to lift the curse is to join underwater adventure full of nautical nonsense that has Spongebob searching for the lost treasure. Battle of the Flying Dutchman Ghostly Pirates. Swoop into action as a mermaid man. He's awesome. Launch into a sea soaking adventure. Save Bikini Bottom from the Flying Dutchman. And yeah see this disc that's what the disc looks like there we go and then this game I actually tried it it's, it's okay I mean I can't really say much to it because I haven't played much of it the only levels I got through was well at least I got up to the part where you meet the shark where you're supposed to swim away from the shark that part is, like, really, really hard. I cannot get past it. That's why I was kind of raging and stuff. But, yeah, this game is pretty good. But I can't really say anything much because I don't have the disc. I don't have the, um, the case for it. <laughs> and then Monster Inc. I did not like this game. Because you can't jump. You can't do anything. So get get set to roaring as good time. Actually, I don't even want to read this because of how much I didn't like this game. So I'll just let you look at the pictures. And then now look at this. I did not like this game. And this was a long time ago, so I can't really say anything about this. So, I mean, not a long time ago, but this is what the disc looks like. And these are an instructional manual. I don't even know what that is, but. Alright, on to the last two games, and I gotta hurry. And this is actually my brother's game, but he never, ever played it at all. He hasn't even taken it out of the case. So, I can't really say stuff about it, but I'm just going to show you some pictures. Plus, I got to really hurry. Um, here's these pictures. And my phone is at 5%, and I also have to get this video done in about, like, 6 minutes. Here are these. And yeah, all right, so that's why I keep her. Oh, oops. Dang it, okay, I just have to hurt. All right, this is what it looks like. Snap, my phone is gonna die any second. Okay, this is what this other game looks like. I don't even know what the heck this is. My dad bought it. My dad bought it for himself, but my dad never played it. Because my dad, he just, I don't know, he just picked it up because he said he wanted to play it. So, yeah, that's the full list. So let's take a look at this nostalgia one more time. 
Isn't it just beautiful? See, look at this. This looks awesome. All my favorite PS2 games jam-packed into one. And so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. My phone is at 2%, and, I, and my video shuts in four minutes. And I will see you guys later in a gameplay video of SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Peace, have a good day.